Hey, world changers, it's me, Miss McCarthy, with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we will practice a specific question type. Now, these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more additional practice, I will point you in the direction of how you can access tons of videos at the end of this episode today. The focus for this week is drum roll. <laughs> I forgot what it was. Let's try that again. The focus for this week is drum roll. Equation editor. All right, y'all, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. What's going on third grade? Here is your problem this week. So go ahead, pause the video, try this problem on your own first. Then when you're ready to check your work, press play. Welcome back third grade. Let's go ahead and go over this problem, okay? It says that Sophia has soccer practice every Tuesday. Her practice begins at 4.15 p.m. and ends at 5.20 p.m. How long are Sophia's soccer practices in minutes? And you can see down here, we have an equation editor tool. So this is an elapsed time problem. We have to figure out how long her practices are and then input the number of minutes into that equation editor. So I'm going to kind of pretend like this is a computer-based test and go down to my workspace. So let's see, I know her practice begins at 4.15, so I'm going to create a timeline to show my elapsed time and that it ends at 5.20. So from 4.15 to 5.15, that would be one hour or how many minutes? 60, right? So 60 minutes. All right, and then I just have to get to 5.20. So how many more minutes are there between 5.15 and 5.20. Five, right? So five minutes. Now what should we do? Yeah, combine those two. Your work may have looked a little bit different, but for mine, we need to combine 60 minutes plus five minutes to get 65 minutes total. Now I have my answer, but I need to make sure that I finish this problem by inputting the answer into the equation editor tool. So I would push the six and I would push the five and then my answer would be right up here as 65 minutes. All right, how long are Sophia's soccer practices? Her practices are 65 minutes long. Go ahead and pause this video to jot down any notes that you still need to make. And when you are ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good it's the one thing we do that makes us good if you want to get better stronger or more confident with something you've got to be intentional about your practice and you've got to throw down your very best each and every time and most importantly believe in yourself i certainly believe in you and i'll see you next time world changers bye